I mean, this film is a complete construction. You know, it, you can see it creatively. Everything's like red and green, the mm -hmm. design, the performances, the camera, everything is really over the top and stylized and quirky. And that's why it's such a um, creative icon, I think, in cinema. Mm. I mean, it just, it, happen, it, it came out just as sort of digital technology was, you know, coming to fruition. So you see, you know, all these little digital things that we take for granted now, but were um, groundbreaking at the time. Um, and it, you know, it, 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 it worked really well for it because there's so much fantasy in the imagined world of this young woman. But, um, you know, ultimately it can be escapism, but it, it has to have that, I think for audiences, has to connect with you and, and, and move you, that moment of agnosis or whatever, mm. um, where you, where you um, learn something profound about humanity and the human condition. And so you can have escapism films that are fantasies, but they have some profound uh, message that we understand or profound experience about humanity, you know. And so I think it's really great when you can get cinema that uh, pushes the boundaries creatively and has humour and but says, you know, something deep about the human experience as well at the same time. And a lot of people um, undermine those sorts of films, you know, often they're comedies or, you know, whatever they are, but I think they still have uh, important things to say.